from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Vehicle manufacturer Mahindra South Africa in August celebrated the milestone of having its 20,000th locally assembled pickup bucky rolling up the line as the company gears for its next space of growth in the country and looks to initiate localization. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The achievement was celebrated at the company's semi knockdown or SKD assembly plant located in the Dubai Trade Port Special Economic Zone in Kuzudu Natal, where the pickup cab units are assembled. Mahindra South Africa logistics head Arnold Reddy expands. Basically, we are celebrating our 20,000 unit. Um, it's the inauguration of our 20k unit that actually rolled off the line. So it marks Mahindra's position in South Africa. We've uh, set up this plant in 2018. So over the six years, this is the fruits of the plant. And uh, it's been an incredible journey. We started producing roughly nearly 200 units per month. Uh, as it stands today, we are roughly around about plus minus 700 units per month. We've partnered with AIH. AIH is our service provider for the assembly of the vehicles. Um, the daily capacity of the plant is at 36 units, both out from the plant and also collection of the units into our storage facility. AIH is a consulting firm. AIH um, you know, um, goes and supports OEMs to understand the manufacturing facility and guides them in terms of the right sort of uh, processes that needs to be implemented. Uh, Mahindra, Mahindra has a dealer network of 90 dealers in South Africa. We are based in Kauteng, has head office. We have recently now moved our stocking operations closer to our plant. We now have our stockyard that's going to be with our new service provider in Camperdown. From there, we intend to improve our deliveries to, to our dealers and also at the same time reducing ultimately our cost in terms of how we serve our, our customers. Ready expands on the location benefits of the plant and its socio-economic impact. Well, some of the benefits is being part in the Dubai trade port, it's the special economic zone. You know, in the plant itself, we have a um, bonded uh, facility where we do the cabs as a duty drawback. Um, we also have the benefit of being close to the airport. I think there's you know load, no load shedding, so that ensures the you know plant is manufacturing you know 24/7 without any minimum disruptions. This plant uh, overall, it uh, it provides employment for nearly 90 odd people, uh, being within AIH and also service providers. So it's, uh, it's benefiting the community because obviously job uh, creation, employment for the, and as we grow, obviously we'll seek more skills and resources and ensuring that the relevant people are getting upskilled. All of the staff that's uh, currently working in this plant uh, have, uh, were unemployed uh, prior and uh, we created obviously employment for them, provided the right level of training, the skills, and uh, we keep supporting them with the development of the individual's career as well. SKD production entails assembling imported, already assembled component subsets into a completed vehicle. The plant currently receives these subsets from Indian headquartered Mahindra Group, and assembly takes place locally. As such, there is currently no local content in the components, and Mahindra is looking to change this. Ready expands. Our ambitions is uh, to start with local content as early as October. Um, we have a few items that we want to start doing in local content. Um, we would, I, I don't have the exact percentage, but we would like to scale up and see maybe at least five or 10 percent into a local content in the new, in the future. Ready outlines the company's journey in the country to this point and its future plans. So Mahindra, you know, started in 2004. It's our 20th, not only is it 20,000 unit, it's also the 20th year anniversary of Mahindra in South Africa. It's, uh, you know, we started in 2004 and uh, over the years we've built that brand and we built it in a very reputable manner. Mahindra grew sales organically, ensuring that we're able to meet the customer demands. 
and uh, we see with the launch of the new models that will be coming, we anticipate that now we are entering into the next phase of Mahindra in South Africa. It's the next step, re, uh, re, yeah, so re-energizing the brand. So we are seeing built on a very strong base. Mahindra has built its reputation over the years as a very durable product. And this is the rebranding of Mahindra in South Africa, I would say. The new products that we are bringing in is, uh, we'll be launching the model called the 3XO. So this will be launched in October this year. And we will bring a refresher of the XUV700 model. Uh, this model has been existing, but now we're bringing a refresher um, a sports edition, you know, stealth mode. So, so these models will now be launched in October. The company is also breaking ground on a bigger plant, which will also be located in the Dubai trade port. Ready expands. The facility will be producing nearly about 1,300 units per month. So we anticipate in um, plus minus average about 60 odd units or 70 odd units per day. Um, that facility is going to be much bigger, more space, so we in, intend to improve in terms of the stock holding in the facility itself. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.